What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. I am so excited to be here with you right now. All right, so today we're going to be doing another video in the series of the beauty of one color. I have some titanium white mixed here and I have sap green from Artist Loft mixed up here. Those colors are mixed two parts Artist Loft pouring medium to one part paint. I also have two drops of my OGX coconut milk hair serum in the color and in the white and we're gonna just start layering uh, I'm gonna layer it a lot like I did last time I'm just doing this video series to kind of show you guys that you only need one color to create some stunning art so I'm gonna do a very small layer of the green followed by another small layer of the white and we're gonna just alternate the green and white changing the way we pour and fill up these layers as we go. But how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing amazing. I'm having a great day. It's nice and warm here in Phoenix. Beautiful. Now as we get closer to the, the middle of the cup, I'm going to start letting these colors churn through each other to create some of those cool gradients and color changes between that green. I want to be able to lighten it up. So by churning the white through the green and conversely the green through the white, you're allowing those colors to mix in ways that they normally wouldn't mix. So to get it to churn, you just got to hold the cup a little bit higher and just let it pour through the other colors. We're already getting some really cool gradients going on, some really cool color differences, and that's gonna help our contrast in the end. So now we're getting towards the top of the cup, and just like the bottom, I want to keep these colors separated, because I do want them, I want some hues between the really, really dark green, and then I want also light green in this piece. So I'm not letting them churn right now, Right now, this is a 10 by 10 canvas. We're just working to get enough paint for good coverage. I like to use a little bit of extra paint so that I can move it around a little bit and adjust my composition until I'm happy with it. All right, so we got a lot of cool colors going throughout, but it was just that one color, that one sap green. All right, let's flip a little bit of a mess, but there we go. We got some of those oils already reacting with the color, which is awesome. Then I'm going to take some white. We're going to go around. I know it looks like I just messed up all those little pretty cells that were coming out, but we didn't. I like adding a little bit of white around the rim of the cup for two reasons. That helps us have some paint that the colors can slide across and it helps with creating some cool like lacing and cell structures that end up pushing through this white as an open cup would almost. So let me just take some of this white to those corners. Historically, the hardest part to cover for a lot of artists, including myself. Just take a little bit here and there. But yes, you only need one color to create some really beautiful stuff. And now that we've spreaded our paint, I think we're ready to do our flip. We're just going to pull it off to the side and let those magical colors flow out of there. Wow, look at that. Got some really cool like transparencies going on in there. You can see all the deep greens that are on this underneath the surface, which that's awesome. Love that. Let me try to adjust just a little. I want to move it more so the weight of the paint and the parts I like the most are centered in the canvas. So that way when I do stretch it, we can let that magic happen. All right, I'm going to apply a little bit of heat. Coax some of those cells to try to push up through all those lighter and darker layers. 
Man, oh man. But as you can see, there's already tons of different variations of that sap green in there, which I think is stunning. All right, so our light spin, let's get this going. And we might have to spin it a little bit more, but I think that one, that one should be pretty close to good. We've got two sides right now that are being stubborn. And that's okay, because they will listen. All right, yep, so like right here, it had a difficult time covering, so all we're gonna do, I have some extra green in the cup. Apply it there. And we're gonna spin it the opposite direction. And I'm not even worried if all that green comes off because it goes really well with the color palettes we have on the canvas anyway, since it is the only color that is there. So we got that. We got a little bit of a situation, which is okay. All I'm gonna do is take some of this white. There's a, just one spot that didn't want to get covered. But we fixed that one, and now we're just going to give it another light little spin. Get some of that excess paint off the canvas. And I think we're good. Give it a little, little stop. And would you look at all those greens, all those beautiful color variations there. Now I'm gonna apply heat again, and we're gonna try to bring a little bit more life to the surface of this canvas. I don't know, this is giving me lily pad or four leaf clover vibes. Like, I love these colors. These colors are beautiful together, you guys. And this is something simple that you can easily do at home with minimal materials. All you really need is one color and white. You can absolutely do this at home and just get some really cool and stunning results. But I absolutely love this one. There's some depth to it. Very cool transparent layers going throughout. I like it so much. Let me get you guys down here and check this one out because it's this is exciting. It's really cool. All right, for this one we have tons of tiny, tiny little cells all tucked up within the larger ones. I think this looks really cool. Like I was saying, I'm seeing like some four leaf clovers in there, lily pads. It almost makes me think of the essence of springtime. I feel like the green one came out even cooler than the blue and purple one that I did. There's so many tiny, tiny little baby cells going on in here. Nice color variations between the, the greens, all the different shades of green. Very, very beautiful. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.